Tonight, we're going back to my childhood with salmon patties. Hey everyone and welcome back to my kitchen. Tonight we're doing a childhood favorite of mine, salmon patties. This time I'm doing the budget friendly version. If you would like, I can do a more extensive version using wild caught salmon. As always, the ingredients list is on the screen and the full recipe can be found at the channel's website, homestylecookingwithjen.com. All right, let's get started. The first thing to do is to clean your salmon. So dump it in your mixing bowl and look through it to make sure that there are no bones. You wanna pick out all the ones you find and remove the skin if that is to your taste. Once your salmon is clean, it's time to add the onions and the parsley. Give them a good stir to make sure that the onions, parsley, and fish are completely combined and well incorporated. Once your onions and parsley are completely incorporated into your fish, it's time to add the crackers. Again, dump your crushed crackers on top of your mixture and incorporate it well. This should look like really loose sand when you get done, but don't worry, it will come together in a future step. Now that the crackers are fully integrated into the fish mixture, it's time to add your eggs, salt and pepper, only if you desire salt and pepper. There's a lot of salt in the crackers, so be careful. But the reason why I add the eggs one at a time is it really acts as a glue, and you don't want to add too much. So add the egg, give it a good stir, and then if it is still too dry, go ahead and add another one. I'm going to speed this up a little bit because you can watch me testing my mixture for 20 years. Now that your salmon patty mixture is done, it's time to begin frying. You want your pan to have about a quarter of an inch of oil in the bottom of it. It is similar to deep frying, but the patties are not completely submerged. What you'll want is the oil to come halfway up your patty once it is formed. Be careful the oil is hot, but you do want to cook these for about two to three minutes per side until they're golden. After the first side has had two to three minutes to brown, it's time to flip them over. Again, do this carefully. The oil is very hot and you don't want to get splashed. But once you get them all flipped over, cook them for another two to three minutes and then it's time to eat. This is a simple meal, so plating is just as simple. Just add two patties to your favorite plate and then your sides. I'm pairing this with my hash brown casserole. I will leave a link in the description and a card up above if you want the recipe. And then some steamed Brussels sprouts. And that's dinner. So I hope everyone stays happy, healthy, and as always, well fed. <music> 